The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalo Valyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. I am Victor Taya, your mathematics teacher. Before we go into the lesson, let us first correct the assignment of the previous lesson. Correction of assignment. <clears throat> One, convert for us to minutes. We know that in one minute, in one hour, there are 60 seconds. Sorry. We know that in one hour, there are 60 minutes. So to get the number of minutes in four hours, we simply multiply four by 60. So giving us 240 minutes. Question two, convert 45 seconds to minutes. We know seconds are fractions of minutes. We know one second is one over 60 minutes. That is one sixtieth of a minute. So 45 seconds will be one on 60 times 45 minutes. This gives us three quarter of a minute. Question number three. How many minutes are there in a day? In our previous lesson we saw that in one day there are 24 hours. In one hour, there are 60 minutes. So 24 hours gives 28. One day is 24 hours, which is 24 times 60 minutes, which gives us 1,440 minutes in a day. Question number four. What unit of time is most suitable to measure the length of time to drink a cup of water? Uh, the duration, as we saw in our real life situation. The duration of seconds. So as you blink your eyes, we can imagine it as a second. So, I think we can measure the duration of time to drink a cup of water in seconds. It will be too long to be using minutes. So, seconds can most probably be used to measure the length of time to drink a cup of water. <laughs> Now, let's have the review of our program. We have been talking on the model numbers and operations in the set of numbers. 
Under this model, we have the following topics. Numbers and numerals. The set N of natural numbers. The set Z of integers. Time. Number patterns. The set K of rational numbers. Decimal and arithmetic processes. So these are the various topics of the model. Now we are, our lessons are drawn from the topic time. And under time we have the following subtopics. Historical time, which we have already done. The measure of time, which we have already done. The clock systems, which is what we are going to do in our lesson now. The time zones in the world. So we gave. This is our lesson plan. Under the lesson plan, we have lesson objectives, prerequisite, real life situation, learning activity, application exercise, and assignment. That's our lesson plan. Lesson objectives. Learners should be able to read time on the 12 and 24 hour clock. Learners should be able to plan event using the 12 and the 24 hour clock. Learners should be able to convert time between the 12 and the 24 hour clocks. Learners should also be able to calculate time intervals between two times on the 12 and the 24 hour clock. Prerequisite. Learners can already find multiples of numbers. Learners can already do calculations on fractions. Learners can already read time on analog and digital clocks. Learners can already define a revolution. That is, how many degrees are in a revolution? The, how many are the angle in a revolution? Then I know the angle in one revolution. Real life situation. At the time there were no clocks. Pa Madi had to go on a distant journey with a cousin. The cousin was to meet him at Cox's crew for them to go. Pa Madi waited for his cousin at Cox's crew to no avail and left alone. The cousin came too late because the first Cox crew 
he heard was Adam. How could you help out in such a situation? So, we are going in our lesson to see how to manage situations like this. This is actually what happened in the past. Learning activity. One. Use this figure to answer the questions that follow. This is the figure, the picture of a clock, figure one, that is the clock. So we are going to use the clock to answer the question. That is the clock. Question number one. How many hours are there in a day? That's question number one. Two. How many hours are they displaced in the figure above? Figure one. How many hours are displayed in this figure? <coughs> Excuse me. Question three. What is the time in figure one when the long hand is at 12 and the short hand at three. <clears throat> Solution to our learning activity. One. Question one. How many hours are there in a day? We just learned that in one day there are 24 hours. So, one day has 24 hours. Next question. How many hours are displayed in figure one? You have figure one, which is the clock. If you count, one hour, two hour, three hours, four hours, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So on the clock is a display of twelve hours. So there are twelve hours display on the clock. Question three. What is the time in figure one when the long hand is at 12 and the short hand at three? In figure one, when the long hand is at 12, that is the long hand is at 12, the long hand is usually called the minute hand, When the long hand is at 12 and the short hand at 3, the short hand at 3, the hour time. So, what is the time? The time is either 3 o'clock in the night or 3 o'clock in the day. Since the clock displays only 12 hours out of the 24 hours of the day. So at this, 
the time is either three o'clock in the night or three o'clock in the day. Learning activity number two. You have figure two. You can see the reading of figure two. What is the time on this digital clock? That is a digital clock. What is the time on the clock? What is the time when it reads 09:30? What is the time on the digital when what is the time when it reads 09:30? What does that give us as time? Three? What does the time in figure two read? When in figure one, the long hand is at three and the short hand at one. I take that question again. What does the time in figure two read? When in figure one, the long hand is at three and the short hand at one. These are the two figures. Figure two and figure one. Question sub four. What is the time with respect to figure one? Time with respect to figure one. When in figure two, the time reads. When in, re in respect to figure two, the time reads 17. 20. Now let's uh, look at our solutions. What is the time on this digital clock? This is the digital clock in figure 2. So, this is what it reads on the clock. 20 something. What is the time on that digital? The time is 20:48. As we go on, we'll actually see more of it. What is the time when it reads 09.30? We simply Say the time is 9.30 by the digital clock. <clears throat> 30 minutes past 9 in the morning. 09.30. The time is 30 minutes past 9 in the morning. According to digital clock. 3. What does the time in figure 2 Read, when figure one, when in figure one, the long hand is at three and the short hand at one. In figure one, 
in figure 2. What does the time in figure 2 read? This is figure 2. When figure 1, the long hand is at 3. And the short hand at 1. The long hand is at 3. And the short hand is at 1. It gives us 15 minutes past 1. And this could be written in a digital clock since it operates with 24 hours, meaning that after 12 hours, the counting continues to 13 hours, 14 hours, 15 hours. So the time is 13, 15. When in figure one, it reads, uh, the long hand is at three and the short hand is at one. <clears throat> what is the time with respect to figure one? When in figure two, the time reads 1720. In figure two, The time reads 17.20. So 17.20, that is the time in figure two. What should the time in figure one read? Remember, the digital time we, is given in 24 hours. Then the clock, as you see, is displayed in 12 hours. So, 1720 will mean when both clock read 12 o'clock, then the digital one will move to 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, as it is counted within the 24 hours. So, 20 minutes past five in the evening. So, 1720 will mean 20 minutes past five in the evening. What have we learned so far? Recall, we have learned that there are two clock systems. We have the 12 hour clock system, and in the 12 hour clock system, we have seen that it has two periods of 12 hours from midnight to midday, and from midday to midnight. We have equally seen that times between midnight and midday are given in a.m. So you usually hear of 6 a.m., 7 a.m. While times between midday and midnight are given in p.m. That you have to take note of, the a.m. and the p.m. In digital 12 hour clock, digital 12 hour clock gives time in the format 0, 0, 0, 0. As you see this format. This is how the digital clock gives time. 0, 0, 0, Where well, the first two zeros for hours, then the, two, the other zeros after the column gives the minute. So we can have time like that. Two, we have equally learned 24 hours clock. 
that the 24 hours clock, it has a 24 hour cycle that starts from midnight. The 24 hour clock has a 24 hour cycle, cycle starting from midnight. Times are given in the format 0, 0, 0, 0. So in the 24 hours, times are given in four digits. Where the first two digits give the hour and the last two digits the minute. So you see there is nothing separating the digit in the 24 hour time clock. Example. This time is given using the 24 hour, which reads 1300 hour. Or you simply read it 13 hour. That's how the time is read. Times between midnight and midday are given times of 00, zero hours to 12 zero, zero hours that we have seen. Times between midday and midnight are given times from 12 zero, zero hours to 24 zero, zero hours. Application exercise one. How long is it from 3 a.m. to 8 p.m.? How long is it from 3 a.m. to 8 p.m.? We know from 3 a.m. to midday, we have 12 minus 3 hours. That gives 9 hours. Then from midday, to 8 p.m. gives 8 hours. So, together, the length of time from 3 a.m. to 8 p.m. is 9 plus 8, which is 17 hours. Question two. What time on the 12 hour clock is the time 15.40? Fifteen. As we know, this time is given using the 24 hour clock. So the question here is, what time on the 12 hour clock is the time 1540? From 12 hours to 15 hours gives three hours. Then, from 15 hours to 15.40 gives 40 minutes. So, 15.40 hour on the 12 hour clock is 3.40 p.m. That is 40 minutes past 3 in the afternoon. An occasion starts at 9 a.m. and lasts eight hours. At what time can the 12 hour clock, by the 12 hour clock, does it end? The occasion starts at 9 a.m. and lasts eight hours. So, 12 hour clock, how does it end? From 9 a.m., you add eight hours. You have 17 hours. 17 hours by our 12 hour clock is 5 p.m. Because from midday 12 zero, zero, you move on to 
From midday, you continue counting. So when you add, you have 17 hours. 12 hours here make give you midday. So 13 hours is 1 o'clock, 14 hours, 2 o'clock, 15 hours, 3 o'clock, 16 hours, 4 o'clock, and 17 hours, 5 o'clock. Assignment. One, write 9 p.m. using 24 hour clock. Two, a spot program starts from 2105, 2105 hours, and ends at 2350 hours. What is the duration of the program? What is the duration in hours from 12.15 a.m. to 7.30 p.m.? Question four. Nurses takes 15 minutes on foot to school. If he leaves the house at 6.30 a.m., when does he arrive? This is the end of our lesson. In our next lesson, we should be talking time zones. Mane tambia ninya ne injo biayen Tam tama mote tam zabike Tam tama tonge tam zabike Tam tam tama mote tam zabike Mane tambia ninya ne injo biayen